Ones again for the drafts Nightmare or Evos. I like Nightmare. Oh, oh, wait, sorry. I like Evos Singapore's draft. I think it's more well rounded and it makes more sense. All right, what about you, Goni? I like Evos's composition as well for the same reason. Yeah, I guess this is the first time that we'll have a three way for the same team because Evo Singapore, they've just been so. I, do, I just really like the draft. I like the Kaja pick. I like all the different things that's going to make it mix, that's just going to mix and match with each other. And I think they have better chemistry right here as well. So from the draft, I will have to go for Evo Singapore. I think they can execute this properly. For Nightmare, I think they're a little bit off. I think that Utah will not be able to sustain as much as they think it will, even with the help of Angela, because an NOD built from the side of Evo can just cancel it out with Adrian. You're completely right here, Mirko. I think um, Nightmare here has a lot to prove, but let's get straight into match number two, guys. Yeah, let's get straight into game number two as this is going to be Welcome Evo Singapore taking on Legends. Nightmare Esports. Here we go for the second game. Will Evo's Legends take it to a 2 and 0 or perhaps Nightmare with the Harith pick taken away. They might just take this victory. Yeah, you're completely right here. But as you can see, Kagura already trying to zone out Evo's Legends from taking that wave in the middle. But as you can see here on the top and the bottom side, all things are quite equal, but YZ seems to be zoning out that blue. Yeah, uh, again, Yutong is the more aggressive laner, and now Pokemon getting chunked down at Chili's, and Soso has rotated here. Pokemon gets taken very low, and no flame shot just yet. But remember, Soso didn't bring the flame shot, he brought the executes. Which is quite interesting here. Very interesting. Usually when you see Kagura's we, use, we see the flame shot, we don't really see the execute. But this time around, I think he wants to use that crazy rage, he just wants to dash in, get a kill, and just back away. Yeah, you're completely right. I mean, at this stage, it feels like both junglers are just busy trying to build up that gold, trying to secure their respective gold here. But yeah, not much going on right now as Kirita will spawn in 38 seconds, under 38 seconds. But we don't see anyone rotating at the moment, so they're quite playing quite passively. Yeah, they're playing quite passively right now. And just as predicted, this Benedetta will go up to the jungle position as BZ is just completely farming alone. He actually got zoned away from this minion wave. And Angela will come here to help and get the pressure off of him because that is a lot of pressure, a lot of minion wave. And they're afraid that it will be a gank, but Achilles actually reads that really well. He goes into the bush, but he actually goes and uses his ability first to check if there's anyone in the bush. Well played by Achilles to spot two members waiting just there. You're completely right. He's playing it really safely and really smartly. But mm -hmm. as you can see here, Benedetta already trying to make a move on that glue. Yeah, and, and that, it's, oh. that was a turtle cam by Razor right there as a turtle has just spawned and it's going to be Evo Singapore. Just instantly starting it out. Nightmare Esports has no idea they're even yeah. doing it. There's going to be uncontested for Evo Singapore and this is where it gets dangerous. Same thing happened in game number one. But this time, Potato is on Yishun Shin. Again, guys. Again, again that I... The same thing that I spoke in the earlier game, guys. They really need to start focusing on objectives. Yeah, you're right. Pokemon just chunks Achilles down. He goes in, oh. but the real completion actually wrong placement right there. As Linux goes into Pokemon, it's gonna get taken very, very low. JPL still does not have that divine judgment, so he's still able to just run away from that. As Potato just continues to free farm while his team goes for these little skirmishes on the map. I mean, at this stage, in terms of goal, they're, both teams are quite equal. But, Bonnie, do you have any analysis on this? I think, personally, uh, Benedetta will be will be having a hard time to dive in. Oh, but, oh my god, yeah. Look zombie. at that. Zaman Force being popped. Now, BZ Force uses that Aegis as Soso goes in onto Pokemon. Very a lot of damage there. Divine Judgment comes in. Potato goes to the back side. Going to be able to get reset it. But look at Linlix. With the help of Angela, is able to save Soso. An amazing play from Nightmare Esports as they secure first blood. They might even go for Potato as he is alone under the turret right here. Yeah, Gani, as you were saying earlier. Oh my God! I think personally, Benedetta will be will ha be having a hard time to dive in the back line because there's Lunox, there's also Kaja who can just back up and cover Potato. So I think this is one of the tasks that he needs to figure out to uh, find it effective here. Yeah, 100% is Linlix actually one level behind a potato because he's, uh, I guess, yeah, his clear isn't as fast right now with the Benedetta in the jungle. Oh. Girl will cancel oh. Jasmine's recall, forces him to use that black dragon form to run away. And that is a lot of time bought for that top side as they will be able to push that lane freely. Look at that, Soul already cutting the minion wave. They're pushing mid as well, so there's nothing much Nightmare can do here in this position. Soul still has that split, but he's actually going to go up to Achilles. 
uses the split split under the tower. This is crazy. Uh -oh. He brings that back and look at that. The follow-up from JPL. He's gonna be able. No, he's gonna actually Soul gets the kill. Linlex tries to look for a trade. I for I will be able to secure that one, but the divine judgment comes in. Potato now takes a kill onto him. Jasmine, oh it's God. gonna be two kills picked up for wow. the side of Evo Singapore. And that is a disaster because the turtle is up at the right moment for Evo Singapore right now. I mean, it looks like this is gonna be another uncontested turtle, but no! Oh. Angela jumps in on Harris here. Yeah, they actually managed to zone Evo Singapore away from it, but it's all just to reset it. It's going to be started oh, over hasn't. again. Yeah, it reset, but oh. it only got to half HP. Potato will be able to secure that one. And Harris, the guy who should just be camping, just should be just free farming, isn't mm -hmm. doing the right job. He's going to these team fights and sure, you did buy a little bit of time, but I think oh. the gold would have been much better than a few seconds on the turtle. Yeah, you're super right here, Miracle. Five minutes in, and now, previously, there was not much of a gold difference, but now we're at a 2,000 gold difference. My, oh my, I mean, Nightmare really needs to think about these, these, these plays that they're making. They really need to focus on objectives. I mean, two turtles yeah. already, and zero uh, objectives taken. Yeah, EVO Singapore, they're already looking for a play right here. Just owning Nightmare Esports away from the turret. It will be the turret taken away by Potato as he uses the passive to destroy the turret right here. First tier to first tier turret will be mm -hmm. destroyed here. The first turret in the game by EVO Singapore. And look at this. They're just waiting for Soul to show up. They're actually very, very patient right now. And let's see if that patience will pay off. As it stands, guys, looking at the gold, of course, EVO's SG is, has the lead. Uh, you're right, Rachel. N Nightmare needs to be careful because sometimes this small lead could lead into a snowball. Oh. Yeah. And there you go. That oh was the patience God. we were talking about. Pokemon will be able to get that kill on the board as Sosol tries to run away, but there's a lot of damage right now from the side of Evo Singapore. And that Harith has been taken down. The mid side will be taken out as well. Soul Soul pops the split split. Girl will be able to secure that kill while Soul brings him back to the team. Jasmine now left all alone to clear this turret, but Linlix at least will be able to trade the turret in the bottom side. Now Jasmine taken again low, but the split split is always up. The Black Dragon formed to just get away, just zone the soul away, and Linux joins in the fight. Soul taken really, really low right now. They look for an engage on the soul. Gets taken uh -oh. low, but the oh, the execute does not quite get him. Potato now looking for a kill on the Jasmine. Easy kill picked up. A killing spree, and Linux jumps in onto a 1v4. He still is able to get out with the help of the hard guard and the final blow. But again, there's nothing they did there in the team fight. Evil Singapore was able to get another two for zero trade right as turtle spawns. I mean, I was just about to say, like, well done on Nightmare for getting that lower turret, but it, it, did, it, wasn't, it wasn't worth it. And now another turtle has been secured, and they're yet a, another time, yet again, behind on objectives. But Lonnie, mm -hmm. the item builds are up. Tell me what's up. Bernadetta with that Bloodlust as he just secured that. Meanwhile, Yi Sun Shin is uh, immediately is, uh, building towards that BOD. Again, look at JPL just looking for these crazy picks, wow. waiting in the bush everywhere. He's always at the right time to go for these crazy picks, and that was just impressive by JPL. The patience on this man to use that ultimate, but the final blow being used to clear the minion wave will be able to save that minion wave from getting taken down. But again, all these picks will amount to a lot. Once mm -hmm. it goes to the late game, there's already yeah. a 5,000 gold lead right now for EVO Singapore. It will like, be pushed to almost 6,000 right now, Ghani. Yeah, like I, I said earlier, this Benedetta will have a hard, hard time to find pickoffs to enter the fight, to enter the backline. And it's shown. I mean, he has zero impact up until now. Yeah, Nightmare Esports. <laughs> Look at the level of this Yuzong. He is two levels behind a soul. This is just not what they were expecting from this Yuzong. They wanted him to be the front line, but with that lead, uh, there's mm -hmm. just nothing they can do. Even if he jumps into the backside, right? This is what Soul likes to do. There's just no damage. Look at Soul. He's just able to zone everyone away in a solo 1v5. It's going to be a crazy match here we're expecting from Evos. I mean, another turret gone and dusted by EVOS Singapore here. I mean, they're putting up such an aggressive fight like we saw in game number one. And again, a Nightmare Esports still has no quite no answer for it. Yeah, no answer whatsoever. It is already a 6,000 gold lead. They're trying to clear this, but JPL, look at him waiting inside the bush, waiting for Linlix to show up. Flickers inside, gets the pick, and wow. it is over. Oh Linlix gets taken down, and everyone in Nightmare just scrambling around as that turret will be the target by EVO Singapore. They're pushing every single side lane and as well. They're taking every single jungle creep. So right now, Nightmare, even under their turret, they're still not able to do anything. 
Yeah, you're completely right. We can feel the pressure. We can feel that damage coming from EVOS Singapore here. And we can see the creep already approaching that turret. And I think a girl will secure it. And they're already on their way to that Lord. Yeah, again, such good timing from EVOS Singapore. They managed to get picks every time in the right moment. They used the flicker, but it's not for nothing. The Lord will be the target right now as Potato just bursts through this first Lord. It's not even the enhanced Lord. as It's just nine minutes in. It will be taken down in a matter of seconds right there. And Evos, they're pushing everything. Potato already level 14 right now. Two level lead. Wow, wow, wow. But yeah, Lee Sun Shin just secured his endless battle. Of course, the OD already done as well. Meanwhile, Benedetta is still struggling. He's somewhat forced, I guess, to build that brute force breastplate right now. Uh, I don't know. At this point, look at the items. Yeah. The NOD being done by the Yi Frost Queen 1 as well. And the Brute Force just to Two behind right deny now. a lot of damage coming from the Yu Tung and the people who can, can dive to the back side. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even with the Angel, it feels like Nightmare Esports just wasn't able to do anything in this game. They just completely got out out of class here. And look at that! The oh final blow, but it just doesn't matter! The Divine Judgment is there. Jasmine goes into right to make the team fight messy, but he just gets bursted down. The mid lane turret will fall down. Soul will go in with the split split, zoning everyone away once again. Turret in the bottom side will be taken down as well. And this is just Evo Singapore controlling the game all oh the way my God. to the early game. Look at the damage! Gosh. Soul will be taken down. A mega kill secured. Jasmine is a target. Is Pokemon guys. jumps in way too aggressive. Busy now in a 1v4. Actually dealing so much damage to the players in Evo Singapore. Singapore. Jasmine jumps inside again. Potato gets a kill. BZ oh. is just shut down just like that. He's looking for a wow. triple kill. He's looking for a maniac. Linlix will not give him that satisfaction as he will be able to take that kill down. Final blow being used to clear, clear the mini wave. That Evo Singapore, they don't need the wave. They're just going to simply push another one. Linlix gets taken low. He tries to go in on to grow, but there's just so much damage on Evo Singapore. Guys, I really thought that they could end it at this stage. Oh, but girl Ooh. comes in and takes on... Oh my god, one guys. For one right one for one right there. What a play. Also, good defense by Nightmare Esports. Yeah, well played by BZ. He was actually able to go in 1v4 with the help of Angela and zone them away. Deal a lot of damage where... Um, when Linux came out, when uh, SoSo came out, they were actually able to get some picks on the board. They were able to clear the mini waves. But right now, Evo Singapore, they're still sitting at a 7,000 gold lead. Not much they can do for Nightmare Esports unless they can take it all the way to like the 16th minute mark. Yeah, yeah. you're completely right here. I mean, we're still waiting on maybe a sliver of hope for Nightmare Esports to take a pick because it seems like even earlier when they were under that last turret, it seems like EVOS Singapore was so ready to end the game that they were kind of, you know, messy. Look at Potato. He is level <laughs> 15 at 12 10, minutes. Gold. He is one-shotting that, that orange buff. Yeah. I want to see the items on this guy. All right, he probably has Endless Battle already done. Already. Oh, he probably oh, even Malefic Roar oh, just oh. put in the salt on the wound right Ooh. here. Nemo Singapore, again, playing it very disciplinedly. They're mm -hmm. playing all the single side lanes right here. So there's nothing they can do to the side laners. Yeah. Benedetta can't kill Soul. No, not just Benedetta. The whole team of <laughs> Nightmare Esports combined cannot kill Soul with a split split. Yeah, they're playing it really safely here. I mean, Evos just trying to push their waves. And I think they're kind of buying time to take that Lord who will spawn in under 50 seconds now. You're absolutely right. And now it's 15 to 6, 44,000 gold for Evo Singapore. Mm -hmm. It is nine turrets to one. In the first game, they didn't drop a single turret, but this oh! time, Divine Judgment being used onto PZ. The bird's is just there. He gets taken down like that. Look at the winner's truncheon placed perfectly as Linux will be able to get a secure kill, but JPL is still there with Girl Potato is still alive. Jasmine is going to oh be taken God. down just like that. Linux waiting in the bush, but it's not going to account for anything right now. You as you're just going to focus in the game. Potato looks for, mo for more kills on the board, but the minions are there. It looks like Evo Singapore Guys. will take game number two with a dominant fashion once again. Girl will give a kill straight onto there, and Potato oh my will God. end the game. It is two and zero for the Singaporean first seed. Well played here by Evo Singapore. Even from the home match, game one and game two, they showed their dominance. Beautiful. They yeah. showed their stuff today, and unfortunately, Nightmare You'll have to, you know, lose this one. Yeah, I mean, guys, from the start, from the get-go, from the draft even, all three of us, unanimous decision yeah. towards the boss SG. But then again, Benedetta will stop. I don't see any initiation from that Benedetta because it is hard. There's Kaja, there's Bruno there to just press down Benedetta, I mean, this hero. You even saw her trying to initiate, but then, and she just instantly exactly. got caught.